casual relationship lost a spark, or do you feel that you and your partner are no longer bonkers about each other? Well, you might be dealing with what we call a stagnant relationship. Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Nachi Sinner, and today's video is going to be about a common relationship problem, which is about uh, experiencing stagnancy in relationships. Stagnancy, yeah, complicated word, stagnant relationship. I will discuss the signs of stagnant relationships, common causes of stagnancy in relationships, and how to fix your stagnant relationship with your partner, uh, provided if that is what you want to do. All right then, so let's begin. Stagnancy in a relationship is a phase where you sort of feel stuck with your partner. You feel as if uh, your relationship is not moving forward, and in some cases, spouses even take the relationship as a burden. They do not feel the same love for their partner as they once used to. Or, you know, the very idea of returning home after a day's work seems to make the partner kind of upset or uncomfortable. Now, stagnancy in a relationship is, is, is more common in a marriage couple or, you know, or living long-term relationship sort of situation. The spouses feel their lives have become dull and have lost the magic in the relationship that was present in the beginning. And if you feel the same way about your partner and relationship, of course, you might be experiencing a stagnant relationship. And falling are some of the common signs of stagnancy in a relationship. Number one, you don't spend time with your partner. Well, well, at the beginning of a relationship, couples are, you know, really into each other and, and go on about their partners and will look for chances to meet them. They will spend many hours together and still feel that they haven't spent enough time. However, after a few months, or maybe years, you might find that the spark seems to escape your relationship and you hardly spend any time with your partner. You miss the good old times and uh, miss spending time with your partner. The second sign of a stagnant relationship is the frequent arguments. Partners in stagnated relationships sort of argue a lot. So instead of discussing the differences and finding common ground, they get irritated with their partners. They get into heated debates and arguments that, you know what, gets them nowhere. The partners argue over the same repeated stuff and find themselves trapped in the, in the loop of fighting and arguing over the same things. Moving on to the third sign. Number three, you feel distant from your partner. So, when a couple drifts apart, you know, it becomes difficult for them to trust each other and express their feelings and emotions in the way they used to. For example, a husband might find uh, it uncomfortable to discuss problems with uh, his wife due to their lack of communication, you know, and vice versa. But this, in turn, would lead to increased problems, as, as it's understandable to anybody who's been following my video series so far. And if you haven't been, and if it doesn't make any sense to you, knock, knock, and get on with it, and check out other videos. And moving on to number four. Your relationship lacks intimacy. A couple stuck in a stagnant relationship lack intimacy and romance. And neither partner initiates to do something romantic or intimate to the other. Instead, they expect the other person to make the initiative, take the initiative. Now, lack of intimacy is one of the many signs of stagnancy in a relationship. The next sign of a stagnant relationship is number five. You feel drained and hopeless about your relationship. Now, in prolonged cases of relationship stagnancy, the person might feel emotionally drained and lonely. Lonely, important word to remember. 
They even question themselves about the future of the relationship. The person analyzes their relationship with their partner and realizes that perhaps they're no longer close to each other and kind of feel intimidated by the partner. As a result, they conclude that the relationship is over and the magic in the relationship is over and will never be restored. The signs of stagnancy in a relationship might vary, but in most cases, you know, of a stagnant relationship, the person sort of feels the relationship is dull and has lost its spark. So, moving on from here, let's actually look at a bit more detail about what the major causes of relationship stagnancy are, or might be. Number one, hectic routine. Oh, surprise, surprise, right? Or maybe not. The romance and spark in a relationship are at the peak in the initial days of marriage or dating or being together. However, the spark loses as the person gets caught up in the daily routine workload. So, a busy schedule doesn't allow the person to spend time with a partner like they used to. They get tangled in their work, and the idea of doing something fun with the partner doesn't sort of cross their mind. Often the relationship takes a back seat, and the person doesn't even seem to realize that. A uh, second reason is responsibility of kids. Now, when a couple becomes a parent, you know the responsibility of raising the child takes most of their time, finances, and focus. So they become so immersed in raising the children that they forget about themselves and the partners. Many couples go through the stagnancy phase after the arrival of the children. The third point is the lack of communication. The open and honest communication is the key, is the key to a healthy and flourishing relationship of any kind for that matter. Now, due to busy schedules, many partners do not have strong communication, and this widens the the distance between the partners, and they slowly drift away from each other. Relationship stagnancy is mentally and emotionally, you know, a bit draining. You find yourself alone, even when you have a partner or are committed to a relationship, and the person also feels hopeless about the relationship's future. And the parties begin to think that it's over. However, If you've watched it so far and were wondering what's going to happen, and if you want things to change, then guess what? Stubborn relationships can be fixed, and the lost spark can be reignited. And I will share some easy yet effective tips and tricks to get past the stagnancy phase and enjoy your relationship to the fullest. But I do want to say, though, I am no relationship expert. Moving on, five ticks, tricks and tips to revive the lost charm in your relationships. Number one, the first trick is to fix, towards fixing a stagnant relationship is to make sincere and conscious efforts towards it. It is difficult to squeeze time from your base, basic busy lives until you reconnect with your partner, it's understandable. But you only need just a few minutes every day to sort of begin to, you know, resurrect life into your relationship. You start by, you know, talking more often to your partner, ask them about the day, wish them good night, send them a few messages while they're at work, and so on and so forth. Well, and the second trick is to initiate the conversation. Sit together, you know, and chat about casual things. And try not to bring up any argumentative topics that may upset you both take a few minutes every day and you know and talk about something that's meaningful to you both a beautiful memory of the times you spent together looking back on the good moments and the wonderful moments that uh, that you might have had in the past will work you feel to to bring your relationship out of the stagnancy phase and moreover it will also remind you of why this relationship is worth saving and number three, the third most effective trip is to tip my 
apologies is actually to plan a trip or a romantic date night or a getaway. You don't have to drain your budget for it, of course, because that's going to lead to another layer of stress. But you know, you could plan a movie night at your place, you know, cook maybe some your partner's favorite food. I mean, provided you know how to cook, otherwise, I could boomerang or order food from outside and enjoy a relaxing time indoors. Now, if you have work commitments and can't leave your kids with getaway, simply ask a friend or a family member to look after your kids for a day. Well, hopefully, they can do that for you. If they can, then enjoy that time with your partner. Number four. The fourth method to escape stagnancy the stagnancy phase is to plan small surprises for your partner. You know, send them small messages, thoughtful, you know, small notes, you know, gifts perhaps. It's also a good idea. I mean, I haven't heard anybody complain about getting gifts so far. We sort of plan a, you know, a, a drive of some sort that they like. Number five, try to stay patient and consistent with your efforts. Don't expect to fix the stagnant relationship overnight. It takes time for a relationship to become stagnant and dull. It doesn't happen instantly. So don't expect to revive the spark and passion of the early days after making efforts for a day or two. Stay patient and follow the tips to make your partner happy and restore all the elements of happiness and understanding in your relationship. Now, if you like this video and it makes sense to you, maybe perhaps share it with the people who you think could benefit from it. In the meantime, as always, if you find that there are things bothering you and you need help with them, reach out and ask for help. Help does make a difference. On that note, take care, look after yourself. We'll be back with a different topic and different video. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.